so first of all, on Civic AI and having this inspiration uh, by Ajuro, forgive me if I mispronounce the name. I'll put a link in the description as well. Once we are here, I'm just going to copy generation data back into Stable Diffusion. I'm just going to paste this here and I'm going to click on this icon here. As small as it is, everything is just going to be allocated into the right parameters down here. See the model that was used was the Checkpoint uh, New Reality Excel, which is still downloading. Uh, it's quite a huge file, six gigs. But uh, whilst we are waiting, uh, we can also see there was a LoRa that was used, which is Excel more. So I'm also going to download this as well. I'm going to save that into my automatic 1111 models. Laura, I'm going to save that here, Excel more. And we can come back to automatic 1111. And let's see what we are going to get from the default and putting in everything. Still using our default uh, checkpoint. Let's see what this gives us. All right, so we have something similar, I guess, because we are using a different checkpoint. Um, it's not turning out to be exactly the same. We have everything done, downloading. Click on the refresh button here. We can locate the Excel model, which was new, real, this one here. I'm just going to hit generate again to see what we get. This looks quite similar. So we only need to change our subject from what we have here to Kung Fu Panda. If we come to image to image, you can also drag and drop this in here. And what we can do is we can also use the uh, interrogate icon. But usually I prefer to use uh, mid journey because it gives four different descriptions of the same image. I'll still come to my mid journey, uh, use the command uh, slash describe, drag and drop the image in here. Yeah, we'll just enter. I'm just looking for specific words here. Copy uh, Kung Fu Panda. I'll go back to um, Stable Diffusion. Take all of this out. Paste that Kung Fu Panda. I like this here, Panda being a martial artist. Um, I'll, I'll also copy this space and I'll just paste this here. So I'll copy this here, a character with martial artist moves. So paste this here, I'll put a comma here. So we have Kung Fu Panda, Panda being a martial artist, a character with martial art moves. And I think the last thing that probably might give us the kick, karate chopstick. I'll add this as well. I feel this is a bit too large and it's taking too much time. So I'm just going to lock this here. I'm going to uh, turn this down. If you come to extensions and uh, you come to available, load from, I'm just going to untick this and you can search for aspect ratio. And from here, you can just click install, apply, and restart the usual process. And you're going to have it in your parameters here just to help you quicken things up. So let's see what we get. Right, so this is looking crazy cool. I don't want to push this too much. So I'm just going to add a few lorries. And I, if we come down here, um, I wanted to mention this about lorries, which uh, was my actual realization. Sometimes you can have as many lorries in your directory, but when you come into your LoRa, you are probably going to see just about six. The solution and the answer is your LoRa is only going to show up depending on the checkpoint you are using. If the LoRa is meant for XL models, you wouldn't find the LoRa if you choose uh, 1.5 base models. If we should go for this LoRa, we can see it's a base model for SDXL. It has no trigger word, so it means we can use it as it is. All right, we can find it down here, Excel more at full. Click on this. Um, it's going to apply the LoRa here, as you guys can see. Click on generate uh, to see what we have from here. All right, so this is turning out really, really cool. I'm just going to take this just a bit down to maybe 0.8. I don't want to put any of this into weight because already I like how this is looking. So let's see what we get from taking it just a bit down. All right, so this is still looking cool, but I want to take it maybe one 0.5. Let's see what we get from 0.5. I'm still not seeing any difference, so maybe 0.1. We'll just take the chopstick out, uh, karate chopstick, because you can see it's going through the head, right? So I'll just take that out and I'll just hit this again. I 
really really like this as much as the the hands is a bit tricky and uh, the feet as well but i'm keeping this um so far i think i'm going for this too which was our first generation and also i'm going for this which is uh, what we have here so this is the second character i also want to uh, use as inspiration from kung fu panda we move to this and basically it's going to be the same process of uh, what i just demonstrated and this is part of an upcoming tutorial where i'm going to be changing these characters in prompt travel using animate Diff in comfy ui so if you guys would not like to miss that tutorial as well you may as well subscribe just to get a notification and uh, also you can give this video um, a like and a thumbs up if it was helpful in any way so i'll see you guys there 